going to be two stages. They're blocking off the street between Wilson and Cannon. There's going to be two stages. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay, the stores and the galleries are going to be staying open until 11. A lot of people come down. They come down, they meet the artist. My particular store has a belly dancer between 8 and 9. I'm Dave Curick. I'm the co-owner of Mixed Media at James and Cannon. We are uh, an art shop. Uh, we're also a major participant in the, not only in the James North Art Crawl, but also the upcoming uh, Super Crawl, which is happening on October 9th. James Street has always been known as a place where people gather and celebrate. Uh, the key is, is this is the first time in a long time that uh, an art and cultural event um, is shutting the street down. It's a very social vibe. It's a feeling that uh, our city is being regenerated and reborn um, with uh, through the arts and through culture and through uh, historic spaces and architecture. You know, a real city has nightlife, it has arts, it has culture, it has people walking down the street and, you know, greeting each other. And uh, Hamilton is prime for a revival and, and I think um, when you see people wanting to buy homes here, they're looking for character, they're looking for history, and I, I think they're looking for community and Hamilton has all three of those things. I'm Jane, um, I'm one of the owners from White Elephant. Uh, we're down at almost the corner of James and Cannon and we are a vintage and handmade boutique. So everything here is either handmade by a different artist, some of them are local, and some are from all over, or it's vintage. Next week is Super Crawl. It's a big event that we're all looking forward to down here. So the street's gonna be closed from right here at Cannon, all the way up to Wilson, and there's gonna be three stages with lots of great bands, and there's gonna be uh, like street vendors, and food, and just different things going on on the street. So it's it's going to be a big deal and it should be a lot of fun with lots of people out here. Hamilton maybe gets sort of a bad rap sometimes, especially if people don't take the time to actually look at it and come down and see Hamilton. So uh, anyone that comes from out of town on an art crawl night is always so surprised and they think it's amazing what's going on and they're always so inspired. I have friends who've come down from Toronto and then, you know, it really starts making them think about maybe they should move here, maybe it's better than they thought and it's great. Go super crowd. My name's Donna Lee McDonald and I'm the administrative director and we're here at Hamilton Artists Inc. Hamilton Artists Inc. is an artist run centre. It's been in Hamilton for 34 years. Its primary objective is to show visual art by contemporary artists, um, both regional and across Canada. I think the Super Crawl is going to be an opportunity for the street to even attract larger numbers and uh, so therefore a larger and diverse crowd of people uh, from all kinds of backgrounds and ages. Yeah, we're going to the Super Crawl tomorrow. What, what, did, have you ever been to one of them before? Uh, we've been to an art crawl, yes. And what did you think of it? Oh, it was cool, really cool. We're yeah. just taking a peek in all the windows now. Is that yeah, right, eh? Forward to it, yeah. Excellent. You guys go to Supercrawl as well? Yeah, uh, yeah, we're going. I'm doing a neon installation for a big event uh, tomorrow night, Friday. Do you think you have it done on time? Oh, yeah, yeah. Got tons of time. <laughs> okay, great. I'm just hoping the weather's good. My name is Sean Barak, and uh, I'm the owner of Downtown Bike Hounds, and this is our shop. I fell in love with James Street. Uh, Basically, as soon as I saw what was going on down here, we became very heavily connected with this area just through the art crawl and through meeting lots of people here. If you were to say that artists tend to favor living downtown and working downtown, then I would say that, by extension, they may favor riding bikes as well. Well, I'm Brian Miller, uh, owner of Miller Shoes. I'm the third generation now to run the shoe store here on James Street North. We've been in business since 1926, and we like to think we retail the best shoes in the city. Well, tomorrow night is Super Crawl, and from what I understand, the street will be closed to cars, and it'll be just pedestrian traffic, and it's the, the biggest art crawl to date. All the galleries will be open, and we'll certainly be open with some specials as well, and it should be exciting. It's, uh, it's a fun event for the city. The Super Art Crawl should be bigger than better than ever. My name is Amanda McCaver and you, we are at Loose Cannon Gallery. Well, I'm installing some work for a show that's going to be happening here and opening tomorrow night. Um, it's a, a three-person show and it's curated by Thea Haynes. I consider my work to be drawings, but um, they are embroideries as well. So it's probably all considered fiber, fiber art. And I can't wait to see some of my friends doing their art on the street. So that should be really exciting and I'm looking forward to giving them that kind of exposure. This is all the uh, after parties tonight. Uh, the Sonic Onion building will have 
an after party for volunteers and uh, music, musicians. So it should be amazing and there's going to be lots for people to do after the crawl's all over. What's that? What's left? We're waiting for the street to be closed. Senders to booths to show up. Fans down, getting the bands loaded in and on. And Supercast right now from the lobby on Sonic Onion Records, part of Super Crawl. It's Indy 101 and CFU 93.3 Gunner and James D. Uh, joining us right now is, uh, I guess, a, a bit of, a, of an icon in the music industry, around Hamilton anyway. I think so. He's our friend from Key Music Group. He also runs a school. He's a tour manager. Uh, he's a promoter. Uh, his name's Dan Brooks. Hi. Sir. Thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> an icon, wow. <laughs> you know, you are, you actually are an icon. Well, I mean, the band's excited. I just uh, let the band know about the opportunity, and they're like over the moon. In fact, they're talking about what shots they need to have. And cool. <laughs> it's nice because we had a build up of all of the organizers and everything, and some of them dressed appropriately. And I think so far, Dave Peterson with the uh, with the shellacker looking like Patty from the Bear. He was kind of. He stole the show up until now. Up until now. Now, now, uh, joining us right now is uh, John Ellison. John Ellison, of course. So kind of wonderful. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you guys there doing? We go. We're good, man. We're really, really good. It's, it's exciting to have you on the show here. Uh, you are um, a little more experienced than some of the artists on the bill. So well, maybe it's bit. because I'm a little bit older. <laughs> it's a little older, but you know. It, it, Not much, just a little bit. We're uh, between Wilson Street and Cannon Street on James Street North. It's about 7 o'clock on uh, October the 9th. Things are starting to rev up right now. They got the stages going. You can hear the drums in the background. People are coming down here for the, uh, the arts, the music, and just a fun time. It's downtown Hamilton, it's after five, and there's hundreds and hundreds of people on the street. It's a great time for them. In spite of the weather, we've got a tremendous crowd, and people are having fun, and they're engaged in the downtown area, which is all about, you know, this regeneration of James Street North. It's wonderful. I think already it's pretty good and it's only just after 7, so I think, you know, in another hour or so we'll probably double what's on the street. This is a very busy, active print studio where the, where the art is made. We also have spaces up at the front that you probably wandered through if you've gotten as far as me. The print studio is a very vibrant, exciting uh, member of the arts community. Artists tend to, uh, to hang around artists, so and James Street has seemed to be where they started to accumulate. Uh, the price of buildings was uh, affordable, and so that's why we wound up uh, purchasing this building. I exhibited an art crawl a couple of years ago when it was new, and now I'm supporting it today through doing a contest for small business at kitestring.ca. James North, that's where we are, art crawl. The super crawl is happening right now. We're across from the Armories building. We just opened this little bar little art bar, it's uh, called The Brain. Well, there's a real buzz going on. I think it's uh, promising, it's very promising. There's a lot of potential. A lot of people are talking about it. a lot of people are buying buildings and investing, and, and you know, people from the suburbs are coming down to this little stretch. The big thing artists need is the space that they can afford to work in. And so James Street, inevitably, any area that, you know, is up and coming, is perfect for artists. And often the artists are the ones that come in and fill that space and make it vibrant again. My name is Julia Veenstra. I'm an artist. I'm going to be taking studio space at 197 James Street North. It's a building that's being renovated. It used to be Hotel Hamilton. Um, this is my artwork. I hope to expand and use the studio space wisely. This is the first year for the Super Crawls. Given the weather, it's been a great success. There's been a whole bunch of people down here and everybody's having a good time. It's a really good crowd and there's a lot of stuff here to do. And it's great to see some action going down here and, and for James Street to be used in such a way. It's very positive for the city. Rain, whatever. I, I'll be dry later. Just enjoy. There's lots of great music out there. There's lots of great things to see. There's enough galleries where people can stay dry and then get back out there and enjoy some things that are happening out on the street. Even with the rain, it was fabulous. Are you satisfied? Absolutely. The rain's art too. It's all part of the super. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think of James Street becoming this? I didn't even know it was like this, and the galleries are so amazing. It's really cool. Excellent. Come back again? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh,